Now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. The CDC on Friday endorsing Pfizer and Moderna boosters for all adults, allowing millions more Americans to get their third shots before hitting the road this holiday weekend. It comes amid a new surge in COVID cases, up nearly 50% since late October. Here to discuss is President Biden's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Good morning, Dr. Fauci. You have long been convinced about the data that shows the benefits of boosting everyone after six months. But it was less than five weeks ago when the CDC chose not to recommend boosters for all adults. What, what finally changed their minds? Well, I think the data became very, very clear. We were looking at data when I was saying that I really felt very strongly that we should be getting boosters to everyone. The data was coming from uh, mostly from Israel and other countries. But now that you look at the data as it's evolved in the United States, it's very clear. They wanted to make sure that the safety signals were right. And once that became very clear right now, very, very I'm very pleased that we're in a situation where there's no there's no confusion. There's no lack of clarity that if you've been vaccinated with a primary vaccination with an mRNA uh, vaccine, either the Pfizer or the Moderna, uh, six months or more ago, get boosted. And the same with regard to J&J. &J. If you were vaccinated two months ago, get boosted. And that's really now clear. There's no ambiguity about that. And we really hope that people go out there and utilize this very important tool to optimize their status with regard to protection. And, and Connecticut and New Mexico's governors said they don't consider Americans fully vaccinated unless they have had a booster. You've said that's not on the table federally yet. But if the immunity drops so substantially without a booster, why shouldn't the White House adopt that standard uh, as soon as possible? Well, first of all, you want to go with the science, Martha. And right now, if you look at the data that we have fully vaccinated right now, by definition, is the original two doses with the mRNA and the Pfizer uh, and Moderna and a single dose with J&J. &J. We'll continue to follow the data because right now when we're boosting people, what we're doing following them, we're going to see what the durability of that protection is. And as we always do, you just follow and let the data guide your policy and let the data guide your recommendations. Let's talk about later on. Pfizer CEO Albert Borla recently said there's a high chance boosters would be needed annually. Do you think that's a possibility or do you believe it might be even sooner, like every six months? You know, we follow the data and there's always it's so easy to predict, Martha, about how often you would need it. We would hope and, and, and this is something that we're looking at very carefully, that that third shot with the mRNA not only boosts you way up, but increases the durability so that you will not necessarily need it every six months or a year. We're hoping it pushes it out more. If it doesn't, and the data show we do need it more often, then we'll do it. But you want to make sure you get the population optimally protected and you do whatever you need to do to make sure you do that. My, my hope as an immunologist, as an infectious disease person, that that maturation of the response increasing its strength and power will be followed by a greater durability. That's what I'm hoping for. If it doesn't happen, we'll act accordingly. And, and Dr. Fauci, the Wall Street Journal is also reporting a pretty incredible statistic that deaths from COVID, official numbers, are twice as high this year as last. How do you explain that? Well, we're dealing with a Delta variant right now, which is very, very different from the original variants that we were dealing with before, Martha. This is, this is a virus that is highly, highly transmissible. I mean, no doubt about that. The more people that get infected, the more people are going to get hospitalized. The more people they get hospitalized, the more people they're going to die. This just gets us back to the message that we're talking about. What we have this year, what we didn't have last year, is we now have vaccines that are highly effective and clearly very safe, particularly now with the recent data showing that we can vaccinate children from five to 11. And it's really important to point out, if you get the children at that age group, and there are 28 million children within that age category, if we start vaccinating them now, they'll be fully protected by Christmas. That would really be something that's very good. And that's the reason why we're encouraging parents 
to get children within that age group vaccinated. I presume we have to be cautious during Thanksgiving. You talked about Christmas protection with those boosters, but quickly, if you will, Thanksgiving. Well, if you're a booster, I mean, you see, if you're if you're vaccinated and hopefully you'll be boosted, too, and your family is you can enjoy a typical Thanksgiving meal, Thanksgiving holiday with your family. There's no reason not to do that. The thing we are concerned about is the people who are not vaccinated, because what they're doing is they're the major source of the dynamics of the infection in the community and the higher the level of dynamics of infection, the more everyone is at risk. But if you're vaccinated, you look at the data, Martha, it's absolutely clear. The likelihood of getting infected, getting hospitalized or dying, if you're vaccinated versus non-vaccinated, weighs very, very heavily in the protection of people who are vaccinated. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Fauci. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.